it No gunshots, but they getting
Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we are back on MAFM V2. So, as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, the little time lapse, uh, we got all the baling finished. And then uh, I started moving some bales. I did have to completely rebale that field. Uh, I had uh, my game had frozen and there was no save game backup. And the latest save was where I started off in the last episode. So, as you saw, we bought a bunch of new equipment or whatever. Um, so, if we run in here, um, we got all the stuff in here. We got the Bobcat T180 sitting here with the white bale spikes, bale spike and high tip bucket. Uh, we got the Ford, uh, we'll just walk into the loader, I guess. 6640 Browns bale spike. And then we got the Coon mower here. The Vermeer VR1224 rake. Kloss Quantum 3800K. And then the 864 sitting there. Now, I did... Oh, we actually have to run to the field with this tractor here. Now, I did... Um, I did manually stack a lot of the bales. But after... Er, <clears throat> after like... 45 minutes or so of farting around with the bales... I remembered why it is that I so highly detest stacking bales manually. Um, but then also here we got the bale lifter that I had bought. Uh, and then the trail tech trailer. And then over there is the water trailer. And then the mixer wagon is over there. We'll see that after a while. And I forgot to turn there so we'll have to sneak through the trees. But, uh, yeah, so another change that I made, as you can see, we have the cat auto load trailer here. Here is my stack. Um, yeah. I got sick of bales. Pretty quick. So we're just going to use that truck and use that. I know it's not a realistic way of doing it, but that is the easiest way to do it because doing it, uh, the way that I have been doing it just does not work so if you remember um, from the time-lapse video maybe it you caught it uh, I had 69 bales well now I have uh, 69 and a tiny partial um, there was still like good portion of the windrow left so I just decided to bail it um, and I got this little thing, so. I mean, hey, whatever works, really, right? I actually want to get forward a little bit more on it here. So we'll take this little guy back to the farm and we'll dump it in the mixer. And then we'll get all these bales stacked in the yard and then uh, we'll see about getting some hay cut. probably use the uh, 1570 for that actually we'll just sell this little guy just because it's not much use that was a couple dollars there <laughs> okay so we're just going to put this trailer or, or tractor over here for right now let it sit because we will need it here fairly soon, but not at the moment. Right now, let's get some bales hauled. This trailer doesn't seem to like this truck very much. Uh, if I take too big a turns, it kind of goes a little wonky, but oops. I was in cruise control too. Crazy thing. Watch it, car. So 
So let's see how this goes here. Have it set to unload to the back. Uh, just for this first load. Because then I can kind of figure out my placement for the trailer. For future loads. And unload. Okay, that's sitting pretty dang good there then. Definitely doesn't take long to haul a lot of bales with this trailer. So yeah, we have 69 bales of straw that we can work with. Not driving too fast. What the heck's this thing's speed limit? Okay, let's just stop the unloading so that way we can race over here. They're not driving too fast. It's all in your head. Yeah, for whatever reason, these bales are not stacking very nicely anyways. I suppose it's probably trying to stack a different size bale, like a little bit bigger. But I don't know if the in-game bales are bigger than this. Probably. That's probably why. And then this thing's all set up for the in-game bales. I'm not driving too fast. Crazy thing. Two more. We're done with this load. Yeah, so as you can see, like turning with this truck, I don't know, there must be a collision that's set in a spot that this trailer wants to be. I think this trailer actually sits too far forward for this truck so okay so we want our unload side set to left now that uh, now that we got that first stack and it's kind of you, know, you can use that for guidance for the rest just pull up beside it and get all lined up and then away you go Right about there. Whoa, those loaded way farther away than I thought they would. But whatever. That's alright, they don't have to be perfect. Just as long as they're somewhere in the area. Yeah, there that trailer's acting goofy again. I'm not sure. It's got to be a collision set somehow that it's not liking. So this is going to be the last trailer load. Because this thing holds 22 at a time. So three loads will be... Well, this will be the last full trailer load, I should say. Not the last trailer, but... This will be the last full trailer load because then that will be 66. So then there will be three bales left. Then with the hay, we'll make 69 uh, bales, and then uh, the rest will be picked up with the forage wagon, and then, because we are going to need some silage as well, so we'll have to have some hay for that. Just make some haylage. Just 
<laughs> That's right. This is one of my favorite things about this map back here. Is the moonshine still. It's cool. And you can even get fuel back here too. If I drove back there with a pickup, I could, f or like the fuel trailer, I could buy fuel and fill the fuel trailer up. Which is kind of funny. This bale. Okay. So then there's a little cluster of three bales right there, all in one spot. So we can come back and get those. I do, you know, I mean, I like stacking bales myself, but 13's physic, you know, 15, I can get it okay. You know, you just really gotta be slow and, you know, not having my steering wheel, you know, like the pedals here doesn't help with that so but that's just how 13 is okay we'll back up a little bit here and unload then our hay bales can go on that side. So we'll get this last little bit hauled and then we'll just part leave the truck sit over there by the bale stacks and we'll run into the shop and get the uh, 1570 hook, get the duels off of it hook up to the mower and we'll go mow some hay we could even mow around some of these fields too And we'll just drop these ones right there. That'll work. Okay, so then we'll run over here. Uh, I have not purchased cattle yet. I'm going to wait to do that until we're ready to... Until we have all the stuff that we can use to feed them. Otherwise, they'll just kind of sit there starving. So there's the duels for the 10, or the dual trailer for the 10. Uh, that thing's got to be sitting. I figured out why this door doesn't want to shut, why it wants to stay open. Uh, the 10 was sitting too far forward here. It must be sitting forward again. I, you know, really, I don't want to go too much farther back because now I'm, you know, pushing into this rack. Must not be this. I see something else. Maybe that uh, hopper trailer is sitting too far. That's into its trigger. Yeah, it's definitely not that. Anyhow, we'll hop in this guy here and can unhook that. Apparently, that thing jumped around a little. So you can see the mixer wagon right there. Find the trigger to get these things off. Aha, there it is. So 
So we got the Cavernland uh, KD710 diet feeder. That's what we'll be using for that. Oop, I need to go this way. Mower's in the shop here. So I do need to buy a slurry spreader and a manure spreader eventually as well, but... Um, that won't be for a while because, you know, got to stock up on that stuff because it goes, it goes by fast. You know, you use a lot of it. So, let's just see what we're at for time here. Oh, we're only halfway through the video. Alright, come on Case, get moving. Alright, so let's head on over to the hayfield and get some hay cut. <clears throat> so this tractor will be used a lot for the hay, uh, for mostly for the mower and the rake, uh, since this thing kind of fits perfectly on those. <clears throat> Could use the uh, Ford there, but... We'll need that more for chores and stuff. This definitely isn't the fastest tractor in the world, but... When we take the rake over, we can just uh, hook that up to the pickup and pull it over there and pull it back. Actually, I guess, because with that Vermeer, you can only drive so fast going down the road, so really this tractor would be perfect to pull it. <laughs> And then we'll have to get that uh, 1206 running on that field here pretty soon too. And then once we're done with all this moo feed making, uh, then we can get some crop in the ground, some fertilizer spread. I do need to go download the front loader, or the front loader conveyor belt mod again, because... Um, with the fertilizer, you, I'm pretty sure that tender will dump. I'll have to try that. Um, but you can kind of just see the bunker disappearing right there. Uh, you can dump fertilizer into there and store it. And so then with that, um, you know, if that uh, meridian will dump into there, then we can... Uh, um, Is this how I want to do this? Yes. No. Then with the Meridian, you know, we can take that over to the CPS, buy, you know, three, four loads of fertilizer, and then dump it into that pit, and then when we want to get it out to spread, uh, we can just take the Ford, put it onto that conveyor belt, stick it into the pile, and then just back the trailer in there and load it up. Uh, definitely can't load that stuff with a front loader because the physics with this game for loading stuff like that yeah they're terrible because 90% of the time you end up just missing and it just you lost it you don't you can't get it back nothing yeah we're definitely gonna need a rake with this because I thought this thing would put it out in windrows that's what I thought it would do but I guess not the working with is way off though it's all the way over to that all the way over to the hitch need all the grass we can get so we're gonna cut a lot we 
Get up by the fence here, close as we can. This mower seems to be pulling this tractor quite a bit. It's pulling to the left, or to the right, I mean. Pretty heavily. Let's see here, let's see if we can get GPS lined up here. Oh, what's this do? Not a clue. Oh, not three. Two. <laughs> this will just kind of help to maintain a straight line. Or, you know, to be able to drive straight. These opening passes are always the difficult ones mainly because you know one you gotta drive on the on the hay here and plus you gotta um, uh, ugh. you gotta try and keep your course straight you know set it the way that you want to be going should have cut our way out here. That's what I should have done. Cut a path out here in the ditches. That would have been smart. Of course, I was not thinking of that at the time. Oh well. There will be plenty of hay off of this field. I remember always getting a lot of hay off of here, so... We'll be all set. So we get over here, and now from here it's just keep going round and round. Okay, now we can shut that off. Now that we got a spot opened up, we're all set. Guess we can leave that on, just lift it. Yeah, it's hard to mow with this thing in cab because of how it's pulling. If you just watch, my hands are free and it's still going over. Must be just the way that it's sitting. I don't really want to use GPS, but... Seems like that's about the only way to mow with this thing. Keep straight. <laughs> It's like it's too heavy for this tractor or something even, maybe. It's got the weight on here, so it shouldn't be heavy. We're packing some weight. But who knows. Slow down for the curve here. And speed her up again. Yeah, so definitely going to be finishing this field off camera. There's no way we'll be able to mow all of this in the probably like 5 to 10 minutes left.
But I think what I might I might do the same thing that uh, I did with this video. Uh, maybe I'll you know, like record the rest of the mowing and then just time lapse it, add it to the beginning of the next video. Might be might be what I'll do. We'll see. nice that this guy uh, let us mow this field since we don't have a hay field of our own he said he doesn't use it anymore he said it's just kind of sat for a while now he's retired but still lives on the place Told me if uh, I ever have some extra cash, want to get into some hogs, to give him a call. So we'll have to see about that later on down the road. We'll start with our dairy cattle though. We'll work from there. That's the thing that, this is the thing I really hate about mowers like this, is it's just round and round. But eventually we'll get a, be able to get a, uh, oh, what you call it, a, 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 a moco, eventually. Later on down the road, of course. That's how it is with everything. Everything's just later on down the road. Gotta make the money first before you can spend it. Okay, let's just see here once. What do we have for time? 27. Okay, so yeah, um, I suppose this video is probably going to be about a half hour already uh, after throwing in the time lapses and whatnot, but. Yeah, so like I said, I'll, I think that's what I'll do is, uh, you know, I'll do a couple more rounds here, and then, uh, or get up to the top of the hill at least, and then, um, then I'll do a recording of the rest of this, and then just, you know, speed it up a ways, and add a little music to it, a little bit of non-copyright sounds, um, that's the only music that I can add to these videos because otherwise I get copyright issues and then they get muted or locked in co different countries or different devices so non-copyright sounds is all I'm able to add <clears throat> without having that kind of issue and uh, I definitely don't want to have that issue so But, uh, yeah, guys, that'll do it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels. That are definitely worth taking a look at. So we're going to stop this game right here. And that will do it for me. And then uh, sometime between right now and uh, the next video. I'll get this all finished up and done. So thanks for watching you guys. And as always we'll see you tomorrow.